Pete the Cat's Not-So-Groovy Day by Kimberly and James Dan. Pete wakes up. He swings his legs over the bed. Brr, the floor is cold. Pete looks down. Oh no, one of his slippers is missing. That is not groovy, Pete says. Pete is ready to get dressed. He puts on his pants. He puts on his socks. He looks for his coolest shirt. Oh no, his best shirt is dirty. Pete puts on his second best shirt. This shirt is cool too, he says. Pete's tummy rumbles. He is hungry. He hopes mom made fish. Mom gives Pete a plate. It is eggs. Eggs are not groovy, says Pete. Pete says, Pete's eggs are good, but they are not what he wanted. His morning is not off to a good start. Time for school, mom says. Get your bag, Pete. You don't want to be late. Pete picks up his bag. Oh no, all his books fall out. Pete looks at the floor. It is a mess. Pete has a lot of books. Hurry up, Pete, mom says. The bus is here. Pete picks up his books. He runs outside. But Pete is too late. The bus is gone. It left without him. Pete starts to walk. Walking is not cool, he says. Then Pete sees a bird. But that bird is cool. Pete gets to school. He sits down. Pete, you are late, his teacher says. It is time to draw. Now Pete is happy. He loves to draw. He loves to use lots of colors. Pete opens his bag. Oh no, his crayons are not there. They must be at home. Pete draws with a pen. He does not like his art. It has only one color. This art is not groovy, he says. <laughs>